Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use Amazing Marvin. Amazing Marvin is really good for project management, also task management and also a productivity tool for your own life. And let's just jump into it. I'm not going to talk for four minutes about my life and what I learned in it. <laughs> I'm going to turn off my camera so we can actually see uh, properly everything. First thing that we are going to do is that go to the right corner when you would log into Amazing Marvin the right corner to menu and go to settings. Why we are going to do that? We are going to enable dark theme if you want to. I'm going to do it only because I think it's much easier to work with it. But again, you don't have to have it or you want to. It's like really up to you. So when we're here and we see the dark theme, first on the left top corner, we're going to see tasks. Then we're going to see open master list. In open master list, you're going to see inbox today smart list uh, we will get to it what it means labels we will get to it too and mips then we're gonna see calendar in calendar you would see all your things that you have to do then the next thing that i really like is timer so we have two options what kind of timer you can have so you get to set the timer for a fixed amount of time it will get beeped and when the hour goes rounds out of sand so you can go like i don't know 50 minutes of work and then uh, you would have a break or you can have a Pomodoro technique which is like 20 fin 25 minutes of work then you're gonna have a break duration and repeat cycle and of three times and then you would start working on a project that you want to so you can have that that's timers then you're gonna see statistics of your uh, like Tuesday Wednesday every single day in a week and also how many tasks you got what kind of uh, how many times you finished your projects and tasks etc and then you're gonna see strategies here in strategies you're gonna see category context i would have it on see what category or project task belongs to and then most of these things you're gonna have on but you don't you don't have to have them if you don't need them like for example the smart list um i don't personally use them but you don't want to it's up to you then you're gonna see print list and roll over schedule tasks and most of the things are on again you can turn it off or turn it on now when we go to tasks this is where fun starts first you're gonna see date here like what you're gonna have to do every single day then you're gonna see today what you have to do and you can like turn it on then you're gonna see master list in master list you're gonna see literally like everything this is it open master list you would see today smart list that you created then you're going to see labels here. You would go to the add edit labels. And right here, you can simply click add labels, like let's say video. And select icon and color. Ok and pick icon. We can go video, right? And I can use these labels like organization, efficiency, energy management, I can turn it off also. And I can also add a group. So group would be YouTube. And based on that, I could search then uh, like in my group if I'm going to have a lot of tasks. So I have it here and I'm turning it on. I can also add description and video, how it works. So let's go further. You can also show as icon or text or both. I'm going to choose both. And now, so, okay, as you can see, I got labels here, video. Then I got to see projects here and smart list. I can simply click here, add a new project, but there is also a different way how we can actually do it. You can go to top bottom corner to plus and you're going to see new task here. So we can add a task. Uh, but it will go to inbox or you can simply add a project or add an event when something is going to happen i can i'm going to add a project like youtube youtube and i'm going to press enter straight away it's in inbox or i can simply go here and add a new project and voila here we got it so these are my projects that I created and in inbox you're going to see them too. Now what can I do? Also create a smart list. 
and in smart list uh this is like smart list title and these are the filters like preconditions i would name them so item type task so when i'm going to do that what will happen project you know and you can then just save it i don't personally use it i don't find it really necessary but if you want to oh you can use it now to project i'm going to click on a project here and now i can go click on it go to open full screen and right here you're gonna see show tasks show note show tasks and note on a show task i can simply add a task to youtube and let's so go yoga video right this is my first thing that i have to do and it's going to be inbox Opa. project youtube open full screen now you can also set the time estimate for it i'm going to zoom in a little bit set the time estimate how long it's going to take you then you can add a note to it or you can schedule it or you can add a subtask even right voila and again you can add another and another and this is how you can simply do it or you can delete it you can also add a sub project to youtube let's go with a and voila we got sub project in our project that's really great then you can also enable super focus which is going to like okay you just enable timer and that's it and you can schedule it so i can set the timer here on right bottom corner or i can press x and i'm back here let's go like this and let's go open full screen then i can group items i can edit the project i can again add notes to my project or i can schedule it or that's pretty much it and then you can like mark project done so this is the first, this is the things you can actually do then let's say that i want to add a youtube youtube 2 and i'm going to mm -hmm, yoga video 2 and i'm going to schedule it for today is 12th of january so tomorrow estimate one hour and i gotta see labels here see i can easily add the labels that we created and then you're gonna see the due date like when it should be happen like friday so three days voila pretty simple pretty easy and again i can even move it to my inbox or to my sub project when i would open master list i gotta see an inbox my project then I got to see in today what I have to do. Tomorrow I have to do yoga video. And then I got to see labels here. So under labels, I can see that I got yoga video, right? Now in calendar, when I would go here. You can also add an event. And you can add like if it's a task or if it's even. And when it's going to actually happen. category project we can add it to youtube video and this is how we can do it right we can go to controls click to add even or task and then you can also like when you would go to open master list or task click plus here and you can add event and even would be even the youtube I am a yoga. That's what we had. And that's pretty much it. I mean, this is how you can use it. It's going to take a little bit of time to master it and learn everything here. Like comparing to Tick Tick and comparing to others, it's really difficult. And I like I used Notion, I ever used everything, and it's difficult to master it and understand it how to use it properly. But this is how you can use it, and this is how you can use Amazon Marvin. Thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye guys. See you.